This is part of owning animals. There's always gonna be something going wrong, guys. It looks like he's got an impaction. He's gonna have to suffer through. This is all for his own good. This is not hurting him. I'm gonna flip him like this. Pump it. Oh, God, push hard. Oh, this is good. There comes some poop. He feels a slightly violated, and I don't blame him. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are you? Um, just hanging out with Guapo. And you guys know I've been in Australia for a while. Uh, back just about a week at the time of this video, and uh, I've been noticing some stuff with Guapo, and I'm a little bit nervous. Um, Guapo, hey, what's up, buddy? He's saying hello to all you guys, but um, Guapo was dragging his left rear leg yesterday, and it really made me nervous when he was walking around. He was just kind of dragging it like it was paralyzed, so I immediately went uh, and got an x-ray, and it looks like he's got an impaction, uh, which is kind of a bummer, man. You know, I haven't been home. Uh, it's always when you leave, something happens, and it uh, looks like he may not have been getting enough water or hydration. Um, so I am going to be doing a few things to try and loosen up this impaction here on Guapo. I'm waiting on Kate. She's inside just getting dressed. She's going to come on out and help me out. Uh, much like we did with Goliath, I'm going to do a little bit of a mineral oil uh, enema, but I'm also going to get some liquids down his throat. Now he's still eating, which is good. I gave him some watermelon. Um, I'm going to be giving him a lot of loose foods, like a high in moisture. So he's going to be getting a lot of moisture, a lot of watermelon. I'm going to be putting water in his mouth. Um, what I've got over here is I've got some Metamucil. I mixed in some water. I put it in a syringe. I've also got mineral oil. And we're going to go ahead and, you know, whoop, up the poop chute there uh, and just kind of irrigate that out. Um, he has been moving some stools, but not big enough. They're little pellets of poop. Uh, and as you can tell, I love this lizard. He is my, uh, he's my man. And I've had him for 16 years. I got him in August, him and Lola, in August of 2004. So that makes him somewhere around 16 years old. I mean, he was maybe six months old when I got him. Uh, so yeah, almost 17 years old. I love this guy. Just a really, really cool lizard. So obviously any of my animals, uh, if I see they're sick, I'm really going to get to work on them. This is part of owning animals and also part of having many animals because... There's always going to be something going wrong, guys, and you just got to prepare yourself for it. Uh, and you have to be ready to do your do your due diligence. Due diligence. You got to do the work when it comes to these animals. Now, I did palpate them yesterday, and I don't feel it's in this side, but yeah, I don't feel anything. And when I push them, I'm not getting um, any pain. Uh, in other words, he's not acting like he's in pain. I haven't seen any uh, wheezing, uh, open mouth breathing, something like that. So that's good. And today, to be honest, he's using that leg. You see what I mean? He's using that leg. And the other good thing is we want to kind of get him moving. I want him to move around and he's doing very well. Now, the other thing I noticed yesterday is if you see the sags here, um, if you pinch the skin and it doesn't come back quickly, then it means he's a little dehydrated and that's what was going on. Look, he's actually, he's trying to pass some uh, liquids here. There's a little urates. This is good. Oh, this is good. There comes some poop. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is good. This is good news. I, I, I've never been so happy to see poop. Um, man, you know, it's been hot and dry the last few weeks here in Florida. I've been gone. Uh, Kate says she wasn't sure. Oh, this is so good, guys. Uh, Kate says she wasn't sure if the um, sprinkler system, the irrigation system I have, uh, was working for them. Uh, when I got home, I clearly I went and cleaned waters and checked everything, but it's possible he just hasn't been getting enough water. So we're going to remedy that, but that, that's good news. Oh, look, more poop, guys. This is good. I got to tell you, I'm very happy because yesterday, dragging that leg, and what happens is sometimes when they're constipated, it puts pressure on their nerves. Uh, the, the, just the impaction will put pressure on their back legs and it could cause some, some kind of uh, discomfort, uh, as you can imagine, and some paralysis uh, in those rear legs. So we want to make sure, uh, and I'm very happy. I love this lizard. Um, we'll show you some of those x-rays. I got them, uh, I got some photos and Tom will go ahead and cut those in for you so you can kind of see what we saw 
on the um, on the the radiation uh, on the ray. We call them the rads. When you look at the rads, you know that's what they call them if you're a doctor. But uh, on the photographs, on the X-rays, you can see the area where there's just a mass of fecal matter. So hydration very important. Keeping his hydration up, uh, keeping some food in him, keeping him warm. You want to make sure that his body can kind of do what it's got to do metabolically. Uh, reptiles, something you guys should know. If you're giving reptiles medication or any kind of treatment and these animals aren't at a good operating temperature, uh, what happens is the treatment or the medication won't metabolize in their bodies. So you've got to make sure you're doing that. So even just this morning, you say I kept him in with me last night and just watching him walk around this morning much, much better. Uh, more active. We just saw the uh, nice turds, so that's good news. Um, so once we get this animal poop in the next few days, uh, oh yeah, bob your head, buddy. Yes, he's the man. He loves to show off. Um, but once we get this guy in, uh, when I feel he's doing better and hydrated and eating, which he is eating, by the way, um, but eating um, soft foods, hydrated foods, I think that's good. Now I've also been giving him dry food. I'm gonna probably start moistening the food so that, you know, if I moisten that food, uh, it'll be better for him, okay? Um, he'll get some hydration, so very important. Uh, I'm gonna start doing that as well. And I'm gonna actually do some preventative maintenance on our gal, Lola, as well, because, hey, look, she's been living in there with him. Hey, where are you going, man? He's feeling quite feisty after that turd, right? What a guy, I love you. This is good news, man. Uh, I, I think you guys can understand when, you know, your animals aren't well, they don't speak to us, they don't talk. Uh, reptiles don't really show pain uh, outwardly until it's almost too late. So, very happy. Hun, don't step in the poop. He made a lot of poops. Oh, wow. Yeah, isn't that great? That so, he made good poops, and I'll rinse that off in a minute. But he's walking better, his legs looking better, but I still want, I think we should continue to do the uh, treatment. You know what I mean? So we're gonna probably do this treatment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for about a week. Uh, so Kate, would you mind? There's a lovely Kate. Everyone's been clamoring for Kate. There here she I is. Am. Look I'm at still you. You love my wife. All right, here I'm gonna go grab him. And um, we'll oh just. My goodness. I'm happy this morning because he's moving around nicely. He just took that big old turd. What and the um, where's he gonna come out? I get out? to show everyone how we there do is. things. I mean, you guys will remember when we had Goliath last year. Uh, this was something that, you know, we, we did the enemas. I'm going to start with something not too invasive. Or, so what I mean is, I'm going to go ahead, did I, oh, there's the, uh, here. What I'm going to do, and Kate, you know what, hon? Yeah. I think um, I'm going to try and do this on my own here. I might what? be able to, yeah, well, just for now, oh. not the enema, but let's give him some water. Oh, come on. See, he's such a friendly lizard. No, I don't want to. Look, he's, he's actually... And these, these syringes are a pain in the neck. These syringes... Oh, there we go. It's, it's so that weird. that one is a weird one. Stuck, yeah. Yesterday, it kept squirting in his throat. I felt bad. Yeah, well, the good news is... Come on, bub. Have some more water. So this is just warm water with a little Metamucil. And he's drinking it, which is good. You know, so that's, that's good news. All right, so the lizard isn't that sick. Uh, to where he's not uh, accepting liquids and he's not accepting food. So I'm actually going to run out here and hopefully I'll be able to find some papaya because we are still in this uh, pandemic situation where everyone's buying everything like it's the end of the world and I need some papaya because papaya, as we've seen with Lumpy, if you guys follow the channel a long time, come here. If you follow the channel a long time, you know papaya and what I talk about it. It's a good diuretic. It really helps loosen stool. Why I do you just, think he's coming at me, though? Well, no, he's just, he just wants to get away from me, huh? So let me just see. So know. since he's got these claws, he's since he's saying. got these little claws right here, I like to wrap them up in this, okay? And then I've got him, and he's going to have to suffer through a little bit more water. I, I just want to get this whole syringe full, at least in there. And every time you stop pumping the syringe, yeah, it's, it it sticks. And then you could shoot down his throat it, and he doesn't like it. I know, who does? Uh, 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 I know, I know, I know. He's gotta suffer through this though. This is all for his own good. And it can't choke him. See, look, he's drinking it. 
Gosh, this this syringe is, is a pain in the neck with one yeah, hand. It's the worst. There we go. Right in. There you go, buddy. And he drank it. So that's good. He's taking the water. Now for the not so fun part where we're gonna have to I know. We're gonna have to keep him. I think yesterday when you flipped him upside oh, he's down. He's gonna snot out some of that water. And what we're gonna do also, see, any animal wouldn't like this. So don't worry, guys. This is not hurting him. It's just who would like what's to come up next. Let me see. I wanna just make sure there is no water in his. There we go. If you flipped him upside down and there was water in there, he would he choke? Or I know they I have different so. things. All right, what we're gonna do, they can do a death roll, these guys. Easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. Let's just hold him for a second. What we need to do is we're gonna do something different. Oh God, I'm getting on him like a gator. Uh, here, I'm gonna pull out this little stand. All right, I got a little stand on my GoPro and we're gonna just put it down because I'm gonna need you to, um, I'm gonna put it in and you pump it, right babe? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the fun part. See, Kate didn't know what she was getting into with me. Okay. All right, so. I'm gonna flip them like this. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, we're good on All that. All right, guys. So we it. gotta put it in here. I got some mineral oil. He's clenched up, so you go backwards a little. There it is, and then you gently have to insert because his sphincter. I just gently work it in. You do not jam it in. You just gently. There we go. We've gone in now. You tell me when. I just want to get it far enough up there we go to where it can get all right hon go ahead go ahead pump it oh god push hard there now you go you say there we go do you feel something well i see it moving i see up? it moving keep going and even though some of it's leaking out it's it's a lubricating situation here that's what we're trying to do some of it's leaking out <sighs> okay we're done that's on that. it i mean that's how Ooh. far up i went oof Ooh. 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 Woo! There you go, guy. That's All it. All right, you are good to go. He's good to go. Oh, yeah. Is my work here done? Yes, my angel. Okay. <laughs> Your work here is done. Ah, uh, what a gal. What wife wouldn't help their husband put put a tube up their lizard's butt? Oh, I almost said to Oh, yeah, yeah, watch out for the poop. But that's good news. That that poop there is... That's, like, a, that's a good one. That's, that's a healthy poop. Yes. Yeah, so exactly. Um, you get excited when you see the size of the turds. Now... Obviously, you know, you, you see he's just, he feels a slightly violated, and I don't blame him. It's like he was abducted by these two giant aliens and probed anally, you know, like so many of the crazy, cons crazy conspiracies that you hear of. You know, Bob Lazar and all these great people. Um, anyway, we're going to let him relax. He's going to walk around. Um, I Like I said, I wanted to do a video because you guys like to know what's going on at the camp. These are the things that happen uh, that we have to just stay abreast of. So I'll be letting you know how he's doing. Although um, I didn't get footage yesterday of him dragging his leg. Um, I was just super concerned. Uh, but today he's doing it. But look at how nice this lizard is. Uh, he just had a little, probably a little fluid uh, went into his, uh, you know, it, it's possible I got a little fluid in there. He's just sneezing it out, which is okay. Um, just love this guy. He is a good boy. As far as lizards are concerned, um, I've had this guy a long, long time. I love, him. I love all the animals here. There are, of course, those that you've had a long time. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Uh, that you've had a long time, and, and it is what it is. So, okay, everybody, there you go. Quick video uh, showing you how you perform an enema on your lizard, and a uh, little bit of information if you run into a problem uh, with some hydration issues. What you need to do, uh, I'm sure you guys love guapo. And I'll uh, keep you abreast of the situation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. And uh, there you go. That's what's happening today. Okay. All right. See you, Guapo. Uh, I think he's going to just relax for a minute because, as you can imagine, probably not the most fun feeling in the world. But there he is. One handsome lizard. See ya.